Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to subtract these two polynomials. And there's a couple different ways to do polynomials. Um, but one thing that I always like to do is nobody really likes subtraction, right? We all like addition. Addition is the first thing we learned, um, you know, when we come as far as operations and numbers. And I think it's kind of the easiest and less likely to make a mistake. So one thing that we, you know, we talked about, especially when we get into negative numbers, is rewriting a, uh, an expression as um, a, uh, as an addition problem. So for instance, if I had 4 minus 5, what we can do is we can rewrite that as, a, as an addition problem as saying 4 plus negative 5, right? OK. And what I'm basically doing is I am taking this as you know, adding it to the negative value of my number. Now, the same thing works when we have destroyed a property. If I have a plus b and it's times negative, well, that negative can be distributed to all of those terms. So now it's a negative a um, minus b, or negative a plus a negative b. Okay? So the important thing that I'm trying to get at with you is when we apply this destroyed property, what I'm doing is now I'm sending in all then what the negative values are. Just like here, I, instead of saying 4 minus 5, I'm saying 4 plus the negative or the opposite of 5. So what I'm going to do is I am going to distribute my negative sign. And by distributing my negative sign, I am just going to now turn this into an addition problem. So it's going to say x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared minus x plus 1 plus and the reason why I write plus is because now I'm determining the opposite sign for each one, just like I go from here to there. So now that is negative, negative x um, minus, ah, wrong one, minus x to the fourth, positive 1, and positive x squared. OK? Now, again, obviously we know that you know, plus a negative x, a lot of times we just write that as subtraction, right? I understand. But I'm going to leave it like this because one thing we do is now when we're going to combine these, or when I'm combining my terms, I want to make sure that I'm combining them um, you know, with my like terms. So now I need to find common terms, terms that have the same variable factors. And the term of the same, you can see these are all have x's, but they're all x's to different powers. Well, if they have the same variable fa if they have the same powers and they have the same variable factors, meaning the highest factor for x to the fourth is x to the fourth. Well, I can't divide x to the fourth evenly into x cubed. So therefore, I can only combine x to the fourth with x to the fourth. x to the cube here, you can see, does not have anything, right? So we know that's going to be in our part of our answer. x squared, that's going to combine with x squared. The x's combine with the x. And then 1, I actually do have another constant here, is another positive 1. So now let's just go through it. Let's start with x to the fourth. Well, x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. Well, that's become 0x to the fourth. So therefore, eh, let's write it out. So my 0, eh, I don't know, it might be easy. So x to the fourth is x to the fourth um, minus x to the fourth, which is equal to 0x to the fourth, which guess what? Just goes to 0. Then let's do x cubed. So that's a negative x cubed. Well, guess what? That just goes to our answer because there's no other x cubes to combine it to. x squared, I have x squared plus x squared, which equals 2x squared. That's going to go into our answer. Then we have negative x, um, my, a negative x plus another negative x, which equals a negative 2x. Goes to our answer. And then we have a 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, which goes to our answer. Therefore, all the arrows that I have answers for are negative x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is, um, that is how you uh, go ahead and subtract two polynomials. Thanks. Or determine the difference of two polynomials. Or subtract one polynomial from another.